Today you go inline skating on the Oder Neisse Cycleway in Germany. It's a hot and sunny summer day and you're ready to start your trip into the blue. Your motivation is high like the temperatures and well knowing that this will become sweaty anyway, you don't even try to take it easy. Today you really want to hit it. With this attitude you start pumping your legs back and forth, flying over one skate then the other and that way picking up speed pretty fast. However, your first challenge lays right in front of you. The cycleway is started with chair pits that have to be cleverly avoided. You're using rather short but powerful strokes, lifting one foot every time you're about to overrun a cherry stone, which must look hilarious and make you appear like a jumping chick. Nevertheless, that way you avoid falling without taking out speed. And that's what you feel like today, speeding. Going as fast as you can, as long as you feel safe and can manage to make it all the way without breaks. Your regress to go fast was hurt, because the cycleway is going downhill, which makes you gain speed with no effort. While you're left behind the cherry trees, now you're trying to anticipate the biggest stones from the dirt track that are all over the place on your path now. Your gaze is directed forward on the cycleway, remaining quick and nimble to carry out evasion maneuvers by moving from the right to the left whenever necessary. You know it's a little risky to go down here so fast with all the little stones, but today you just feel it, you're very confident, you're convinced of your strength and agility. It's like electric energy is flowing in your body and keeping up your pace energizes you even more. When you finally find yourself on a clean and smooth path that is no longer sprinkled by stones, but still going downhill, which you notice with great pleasure, you can let your inline skates roll without pushing. Nonetheless, you remain in an active posture to compensate possible bumps while enjoying the speed and a gentle breeze on your skin. For the first time, you're dedicating your focus to your surroundings. There's a road to your left, but your gaze is directed to the crane field to your right. It is shining in a bright yellow, a nearly golden color, and is reflecting your mood perfectly. What a beautiful day! What a beautiful place, you say out loud, with a big smile on your face. You're having a blast inline skating and also the track is very fun. It's like a pump track that is embedded in the green surroundings, slightly going up and right afterwards down. That is your own roller coaster. You celebrate every down frenetically shouting out woohoo, gaining speed and holding up the pace with a few powerful strokes when going uphill. You didn't expect that at all. You were hoping for pretty surroundings, but the fact that the track is that smooth and so much fun too makes it even several times better. And your roller coaster ride isn't over yet. While the track was mostly straight on the first kilometers of the trip, now it's starting to wind, reaching a bend to the left. You push with your right foot outwards and easily roll around the curve without losing momentum. To your left is a very cute rest area, and even though relaxing here with pretty views must be great, there's nothing that could stop you now. All you want is to keep moving, to pick up speed to savor the stream of air on your skin, breathe in the scent of a freshly cut meadow and delight in the ambience of those wild fields while following the winding track. What a wonderful day, you say out loud again, while nature's glory is still gliding past you. Once more you realize that it's the little moments that bring the most joy. The combination of doing sports and being outside in nature never fails to lift your mood when you're a little down, or like today, boost your mood to the top. And that's because when exercising the body produces more happy hormones, so-called endorphins, and breaks down stress hormones more easily. Every time you're exercising you feel this impact of sports and are amazed that just some moving can make your day. Because then it's not just the body that feels good, but also the mind. When you're doing sports in nature, getting to see beautiful places like today, you achieve a feeling of clarity, ease of mind and most of all joy. Pro nature, suddenly a gorgeous blue light pops up to your right, in case that is not enough, another one to your left. Wow, that's amazing you talk to yourself. Trying to get a glimpse of both, you keep turning your head from the left to the right. For a second you thought the lake to your right is your final destination already, because you want to skate to Lake Berzdorf, which is about 10 kilometers away from your starting point. And even though you're pretty quick today, that would have been too fast. Anyway, you must be nearly halfway, which makes you almost a little sad. Today you're literally bursting of energy. I could go anywhere today, you say to yourself, and then adding, well, 
let's discuss that later again. You know that if you keep up your high pace, you will get more tired towards the end. But that doesn't play a role at the moment. You're still feeling very energetic and therefore adding a little more power to your emotions. You deliberately started the trip quite early in the morning to first hit the crowds, but secondly and especially toward peak temperatures of midday. You notice for the first time that it's quite hot already when passing through this avenue-like path that provides shade and very pleasant temperatures. It reminds you of the Spreewald forest where you went kayaking not long ago. But before you can enjoy reminiscing too much, you make it out the forest straight onto a long straight street. The sun is beaming down and you wish you were still in the forest. Going back is no option, so you try to tackle the heat head on. In hope that there will be more shade through the head, you step up pace and make use of your arms, swinging them aligned to the motion of your legs, which helps to gain momentum. You reach the end of the road after a little while, but it seems like you can totally bury your hoe with trees and shade for now. The cycleway takes a right turn, follows along a road and crosses a bridge. While looking around you detect something that distracts you from the heat, a giant bucket wheel excavator. Because in this area there was a long tradition of lignite mining and energy production from coal. Today you can even discover the excavator, but then you have to interrupt your train of thoughts. Special attention has to be given to the rail crossing. You absolutely don't want to fall, so first you slow down and then try to cross the rails with little steps. Having successfully mastered the crossing, once more it is stones on a track that prevent you from going fast. You find out that your special little steps technique works well also when trying to avoid the little stones. And so you stick to this technique until the track would get smoother again. When reaching the next village there is far and wide noise stones visible on the path and you are starting to pick up speed by stepping up the stroke rate. There is a speed limit of 30 km per hour here and you are starting to wonder how fast you are going. That's pretty fast on the roller blades and feels even faster because the pace in this village on the contrary is very slowed down. Most people must be relaxing in the shade. There are only two crazy people here. You spot a woman mowing her lawn in the blazing sun. She's number one. And number two, am I myself we laugh while speeding through the village. But you have two advantages. First, the pleasant airflow that withdraws the humidity from the body and cools down the skin. And second, a lake that is awaiting you promising a refreshing swim once you are there. And apropos once you are there, it is not far anymore at all you realize when turning into the street that would lead directly to the lake. The path is incredibly smooth here. You are using powerful pushes, going quite deep and bending the knees to gain as much speed as possible. You come along some signs near the cycleway and reading them when passing by, you understand that there is a very close connection between the bucket wheel excavator you have seen earlier and the lake. The lake consists of the residual hole of the former open cast lignite mine and now serves as a nature prioritized popular among tourists. Knowing this, you are even more curious getting to see this place. The path is really a dream for any skater and there is no traffic here. So you want to prove yourself how fit you are already and how fast you can go. You put everything in and are starting a sprint. Soon the path takes a right turn and for the last hundreds of meters you have to continue on the road. You're so euphoric and even more seeing that the road is slightly going down. What a fun last section you think. To not get too fast you decide to use the brake on your inline skates and suddenly there's a bang and the wheels block and you nearly fall. Somehow you manage to break a fall with your hands and in a wondrous way you don't get hurt. A little stone got between the wheels and is now blocking them. No, I won't let this stop me having a great trip, you say it loud, while taking off your inline skates and socks. No matter how, I'll make it to the lake, even if that means that I'm walking the remaining distance barefoot. You're looking down on your feet and can smile and love again. And as you look up again, you can glimpse the blue lake. Let's do this, nearly there. You're starting to walk a lot faster, first because you can't wait to get there, but also because the paved road is super hot, nearly burning your feet. You're not walking anymore, it's more like a bunny jump, by which you try to avoid touching the road for too long. That must look so stupid to other people you love. There's a person carrying the inland skates and walking, no, hopping down a hot road barefoot. But you don't care, you're fully focused on yourself and incredibly proud of your attitude. No matter what, you'll bring this trip to an end. You don't give up, you finish what you started. It's time for the final sport. You just have to go down the hill 
and you're there. Use which technique from jumping to tiny fast steps, only touching the ground for a split second, which makes it more bearable and so you can even kind of enjoy the last pieces, plus enjoy the views on a leg that gets closer with every step. There's a fascinating display of colors in front of you. The green trees, the blue lake and the white beach. You move your legs even faster, lift your knees even higher and target the beach. Suddenly you feel a soft and sandy ground beneath your feet and you know you are at the beach. You made it. I'm impressed. That's moments we move for. 